what should the investor do if they have their conditional green card and it's going to be expiring next few months? Yeah, so there's a legal requirement to file Form I-829 before the expiration of the conditional green card. Basically, you need to look at the expiration date and count back 90 days. That's the I-829 window where an A-29 can be filed. So, three months before the expiration? Essentially, yes. Okay. And uh, what are the requirements uh, to get the A-29 approved? Because uh, many investors ask me, if uh, do they need to care about the uh, right. job creation from the project or they need to care about their income or their tax or repay in the US? Right. Yeah, so the regulations say there's four requirements. You have to create a business and invest the money. And that's actually done at the 526 stage, so you're already halfway there. Uh, the last two requirements are that your your capital needs to be sustained. So if you invest it at 500000 your tax documents should show that the five hundred is still in the company. And then finally, as you alluded to, is job creation. We need to show that there's 10 jobs created for that particular investor. Easiest way of doing that is taking the total number of investors in the project, multiplying it by 10, and hopefully there's enough for everybody. Okay. How long did it take for you to prepare uh, the document that needed for filing one by eight to nine? That really depends. And a lot of times you're going to have lawyers that represent the investors and lawyers that represent the projects. Usually the lawyers that represent the projects are preparing the templates. Some lawyers are really great and they get them done quickly and efficiently. Others not so much and you might be filing towards the end. Okay, and what are the benefits that the client need to see it right away after they get the permanent residency PR? Right, so green card. The, the green card is going to expire. Processing times are very long for 829s. So even if we file on day one, it's going to expire. And when a green card expires, that leads to all kinds of issues for the investor. They still need to be, have proof to uh, renew the driver's license, perhaps to get certain licensures, to do various things of their daily life. They need proof that they're in the country lawfully. Now, fortunately, the government will issue a receipt notice that provides evidence of that proof for 48 months. However, that's not nearly long enough because, as I mentioned, processing times are 66. Okay, so right now uh, the processing time it's it's quite just sixty one months. Yeah, now it's already sixty six. Yeah, changed so quick. Changed overnight. What should you uh, what should the investor prepare from now on for the IA tonight? Yeah, so the investor is going to want to keep track of a specific tax document that they have called Schedule K one. They should be filing that with their tax returns every year that they've been um, a member of the company. And uh, again, making sure that that says 500000 or more uh, on it to show that they did not withdraw any capital from the company. Okay, thank you.